packing 2-0. Had some beasts in the server here today, and I think we'll have to focus on the big name of Yakinda versus Zywu throughout this. The 1x bet odds favoring Vitality. And a slow start with a pretty standard spread. Two over towards the B-bomb site. Apex and Sphinx, the standard combination. And over towards A, the Dastardly Danes and the Wu himself. Yakinda, as per usual, has been able to garner this banana control and is slightly ahead of the pack. The rest of them, the tail of this. Nitro, OC with the Util, are now in place to set up for an execute. Apex with a flash and a HE, and Sphinx with some armor and a USP. Yeah, again, classic CT side pistol situation. You need to hit the early headshots or you're not going to stand a chance. Apex, flash out for his teammates, but all oh, the counter flashes are good. There's a nice HE coming out on top. Apex not finding the kill yet, and Sphinx is going to get shot down, and that is the opening kill of the grand final. Four versus five. Apex falling back into construction and Mega started to join him a little bit, but so far so good for Liquid. They're gonna at least get the bomb plant. All right, setting up for the retake now. Everybody coming in through the CT or Coffin's positions for Vitality and creeping forward. No kit, have to find some fights. And Mad just will. First one hits the deck, four on four. Good stuff. Oh, Nitro's right back into it. Saiwu and Dupree are left. Saiwu showing up and finally getting to use that gun of his. But Yakinda, I think he crouched right under the gun model. I don't think he could actually see him for his, from his own pistol there. At least Dupree. Unwinnable right now. One yeah. versus three. That bomb is way too far ticked. Has the dualies, has a bit of armor. If he can try and escape, that would probably be the best. He's gonna do some damage on his way out. But again, the round is already conceded. So you cannot probably gonna be dead here. Either the debris or to the bomb. Doesn't really matter. Liquid, though, will win the pistol round. Yeah, bang on there. A uh, good one for Dupree. A couple of extra kills. He'll be able to buy into a Famous in the next round to play here if they want to go for a force buy. But using that B bomb site, something that G2 didn't do an awful lot. And we do have a nice little intimate crown down here in Malta to watch along. Liege just bounds in here, combination with OC's flash to get that entry, and then just taking care of business. Because there was no util for Vitality to get back into the site, they were down the man. It was always going to be a very difficult retake. But a scout in Zywoo's hands, that Famous prophesized for Dupree is out now. He can drop the jewelies and well, everybody with a little something, something going into round number two. And Zywoo, of course, he's going to take a peek here, taking a liberty or two. Doesn't see a whole lot down towards T-Stairs. And yeah, Liquid being careful, just like they were in the pistol round, to not just run into anything crazy, which I can understand. We've seen Zywoo already hit some pretty great scout headshots, so you don't want to be giving anything away. They get the revenge, losing your kinder early on. Sphinx is out here. The dually is not quite doing enough. OC is going to be able to clean up a couple of great kills. A triple, in fact. And make us side will probably... I mean, they can show up and try and put some shots through, but I don't think they're going to be able to win this one. Side was committing really hard to it. I thought maybe he'd just stay at a range and try to, you know, take some shots with the smoke, but... He actually wanted to try and go for it. Still hanging around inside of the smoke, in fact. Yeah, I think because the CT smoke was so late, he thought he had a window to operate with. He can apply some pressure, and if that buys some space for Majesty and Banana to find a pickup of a gun, sure, he's got U2. A weapon upgrade would be nice here as well. And coming silently, Elyge getting caught off guard. Majesty cannot connect the dots, and Elyge will deal with him. And that should be the round. Zywu backing off towards CT spawn to hold on to the scout here. So a tidy start for Liquid. Yakinda went down early in Banana there. He got isolated by Dupree. And uh, Dupree off to a, a good start here on the CT side with three kills. We know he struggled yesterday on that t half, but really turned things around in part of that comeback. Now, Yakinda going up Banana, that's going to be part of the default rounds here for Liquid. It's yes. going to be alongside of Nitro or OC, depending on the buys. Oh, okay. kill. And then you're going to have the likes of uh, Naf over towards the apartments and Elyge, that's uh, second mid boiler type player. On the CT defense, you're going to be having Sphinx as the more hard B anchor. You have Apex assisting him, but Apex, you can find him in float a lot. We saw those calls he was making last night over towards A. You're going to have Naf anchoring down. Uh, sorry, not now. You can have Magisk anchoring down towards the pit and yes. uh, short side. And then Zywu and, and the likes of the, the likes of Dupree, they're here, there, and everywhere, right? We saw yeah. them rotating B. We saw them flexible between both sides. So it's going to be interesting to see how Apex wants to deploy them here. You saw, you talked about Magisk and Dupree, and they were two players yesterday that really locked that A-bomb side down in the middle of that comeback in the second half, which is really, really crazy. Obviously, when they were on Mirage, Apex was kind of a weak spot defending the B-bombs, anchoring the B-bomb side. Um, so curious if Liquid feel like they can find something similar. It might be a way more difficult map like Inferno. Oh. He's not going to be alone like that. <laughs> okay. Well, close lined him. And Scout saved, and you think that's not a big deal. What does it really matter? But turns out it is a big deal. He's back for more. We almost could have stepped into that one. Got to be careful, Deagle. Out here for Dupree. Going to just be putting in a bit of a shot. But Liquid feeling a slight bit of pressure at the early start of this round. That's um, less than ideal. Yeah, it's a good thing they haven't marched too far forward because the rotation did come back over from Vitality here. But now that there's no more audibles, they cut sound. 
Vitality are now investigating back towards the second load of the alphabet. You Kinder and Nitro in Banana, Elysian OC top mid. And if they sell a bit of a fake on towards this side, you Kinder leers forward and he doesn't go down. And he calls some information, then they should be able to waltz in towards A. So just continuing to keep the feet planted here. This is a pretty convincing fake. And yeah, you can see Zywu biting wow. down on this as well. So Yakinda, he's just going to be the canary in the coal mine. Get them that information they require. Uh, perfect work. If he sees anything more, that's job done. Actually, job is already done. They've walked up so far. We can see there's nobody home towards the A side. Bomb should be going down momentarily. The question is, oh, 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 oh. Don't give Zywu a second chance. Especially with the bomb on the back. Just leave that one alone. <laughs> it's not worth it. But great call. Yeah, they really managed to switch that defense around, push them over to the B-bomb site, and they're going to get the bomb plant here. These type of rounds get very scary when you give up the opening pick, which is what Liquid did in two consecutive rounds, right? So they are a bit wobbly. It's not the easiest to convert, but they kept their cool, and they will... Looking good. It's just damage. Name of the game for Vitality now. You can see them positioning themselves so they cannot escape out towards second min window, the halls, grab them an AK, just do damage. Yeah, then new bomb radius definitely having an impact on Inferno these days. Apex is going to be fairly close by. But so far, it will be a 3 and 0 lead for Liquid. So they're going to be quite excited about that. Apex doing That's a bit beautiful. of work, and especially with the AK. Yeah, he's going to make a run for it. And he's not going to be stopped either. This is great stuff. Yeah, a bit of an oversight there from Nitro. Just steps too far forward and gives away a, a pretty costly weapon. So. Good find for Vitality, even though they are yet to convert around. But let's see if that changes. Everybody else for Liquid staying alive. <laughs> He's on one now. Very He's fortunate. He did the match. 99 damage for the bomb. Here's a fun fact, Anders. Uh, Dupree and Magis, uh, on the Vitality side of things, both have a chance to win their fourth ever ESL Pro League title. Uh, so they could make some history here today. I think there's a whole bunch of players who have three, but they could be the first two players to ever grab four. Four for 16. That's uh, not, bad. not bad. Yeah, pretty good odds right there. And uh, this is also Yakinda's first ever best of five on land. He's played Ooh. five best of fives online and never won a single one. Okay, so new experience for him. I'm sure he's up for it. Grenades exchange it out on Banana. Yakinda gonna put out one of those uh, Molotovs with the smoke and go straight for it. And that's gonna put some pressure on Spinks. Oh, he's so ready, Yakinda. What an opening this is. If Apex would have stepped out into that, I think your kinder would have probably had it, and that might have been the end of the round. Remember, this is Vitality's first rifle round. It's real important. They pick it up early here. There's a gap on the right side of that smoke. It'll be on Dupree's left as he crosses here. Yeah, it's a void. So I, I, maybe Apex has communicated that. You can see the way Dupree swung into it. Now they're going to swap places. Apex over towards the CT side. Dupree to bunker in towards the site. He does have a bunch of nades here. Smokes, flashes, mollies. Is Kim Liquid are still testing the water. They've thrown a deep CT smoke as well as a coffin smoke, and Yakinda searching again. This is his bread and butter. Yeah, it's what he does so incredibly well. That CT side for Vitality when they were playing G2 looked incredible, but if you can't get it started, if you don't have the money to begin with, it will be a problem. Yakinda searching for that kill. He's applying so much pressure just by being here, and now the rest of the team, they're following it behind. There's nobody else anywhere on the map. The entire Liquid squad showing up and putting on the pressure. The Eagles bullet flying through, not going to connect with anyone, but Nitro on the opening to take down Dupree, and that's probably what they needed. Apex, he wanted to try and search for that bomb plant, and instead, He's going to be found by Elise. Nice little flick there from Saibu, but it might be too late. Look at who's all the way across the map. Magus, he's not anywhere nearby. He's going to pick up that AK, but surely they won't give him the fights he needs. Maybe same conversation again. Just do some damage, Zywu. And if you can somehow walk away with a miracle round here, you've got a lot of time on the clock. If they present you with a duel or two, we could pretend Zywu's in a one-on-three right now. He's the tough guy who could win it, but Nitro sits him on his ass. Great little response there. And we'll make it a 4-0 start. Good stuff out the gates here for Team Liquid. This is their map choice. Best of five, marathon, not a sprint, we call it. Yakinda's ability to stand basically in the main entrance into that B bomb site. I mean, should he be allowed to do that? Is there is Vitality screwing something up by not sort of finding a way to counter flash him? Maybe, you know, dunk on some nades on him. It feels like there's a lot of real estate out there where he's just looking straight into the bomb site. Yeah, I think their plan was to do what they did to, to Nico last night, which was stall him out before he even gets past the half wall. And that YouTube didn't really do an awful lot of damage. And a lot of the time, you're gambling on where you're throwing your HEs or your Molotovs to, to, to deal with the setup that they're running here. So you're right. He probably shouldn't be able to stand in the mouth of Banana and just take some fights here. But they were expecting an execute to come through and then they were going to react. They were waiting for that initial play. But Yakinda's just going to contact up. He's just going to take those fights. And that's something that was missing last night from G2's game. Nico wasn't there. He wasn't taking that space. Whether it was the calls or not, either way, it didn't exist. Yeah.
Jinx might not exist for much longer here. He's low, and we're going to go for a Hall's Pop. This would be a right call. There's only two players over towards Short right now. It's a very important counter nade coming out, though, from that CT side. Apex goes down through the smoke, and that's Yakinda in charge of it, so unfortunate. Otherwise, they did slow it down just a bit. If they had really gone through the Hall's Pop, you're right, that would have been crushing. It seems like they've slowed it down just a tiny bit right now, especially on that opening kill. Now they're playing four versus five. Oof, it's fine. Uh, well, he's 5-2 and two right now, but we expect to be saying his name a lot more. Yeah, well, he's uh, been the best player here at ESL Pro League Season 16. Absolutely no doubt about it. Top of the charts, the desk with his stats, a rating of 1.43. You look at the categories where he's topping it in the tournament, it's massive. This is the Zywu, who is the player that picked up the best in the world two years consecutively, and here he is again, just peering out mid. He needs to secure this for the team. They're going to be able to try and slide Dupree out for some info. Okay, that's two kills to the B defenders through smoke from Yakinda. What are you meant to do? How are you meant to cage that? It's very difficult when someone can actually read your thoughts when you're playing. It's so ridiculous. What an insane play. Now OC's faking that no one's here. That smoke is so good. Dupree's like, all right, if you're smoking up, certainly no one's by the tree. Well, surprise. He could not won this round on his own. He did. He did indeed. And if this onslaught continues in Banana for much longer, there's going to be some real issues for Vitality. If they're able to hold on to this AWP in M4, we'll check out Zywu spawn in the next round, but maybe tasking him with taking that fight, seeing if he can deal with Yakinda's presence in Banana, whether it's aggressive or not. We saw yesterday there was a setup being run from Vitality where Zywu's AWP would end up at the B bomb site, but he would just play the CT spawn angle and peek the top of Banana. He wouldn't look down. He wasn't challenging deep. He was kind of hoping that the likes of Nico would come and aim map him because he would have the advantage with the AWP versus those rifles. That might be a possible change up here for Vitality, but now it's a 5-0 lead. Max loss bonus has been in play, so there'll be money to drop. There should be another buy for Vitality here, but maybe even a timeout just to remind them, boys, this is map one. We need to set the tone here for the rest of the day. Could be real good. 5-0 oh in favor of Liquid. You know, it's around Nitro, Elise, Nap. They're all going to love getting stuck in in that regard. OC2, of course. The OC Supremacy, let's see if that's out on display tonight. They haven't fully invested here. So uh, everybody has a bit of cash left over to go for a gun round in the, in the next round for Vitality, but they've left enough residual, right? They didn't fully invest in U2. You can see Sphinx there only with a Deagle in this round. And the AWP not over towards B. Nope, that's a scout on Apex. Of course, could still do a lot. It's going to be a little bit of a surprise to Elige walking into the shot. Good stuff. It's going to allow, finally, a bit of a better start for Vitality. They absolutely need to change this right now. Maybe behind that timeout, that's exactly what will happen. They're gambling a little bit on the B-bomb, so there has been a lot of B late B-hits here coming out from the Liquid side, so it makes sense that they would try and see if they could preemptively catch that. Well, uh, this is a good call now to, to rotate back, because Zywu's rotated over towards that B-bomb side to try and fortify things alongside of Apex and Sphinx with a weaker weaponry, but now it's these dastardly Danes on the site the nemesis of Liquid once upon a time, and they were fantastic over towards A with these crossfires last night. Let's see if they can do it again. Yeah, the problem is, though, if they get wrapped on by Arch, it's going to be a different matter, and the only one that's rotated back right now is Apex with a scout. Not that much stopping power behind it. The USP for the smoke might almost be a little bit better at this point, and he's waiting for it. 30 seconds on the clock, and it will be down to the Danish duo in here, Magus and Dupree, crouched in graveyard. One of them, Magus down. That's a good headshot to begin with, and... He's trusting in Dupree to maybe help him. Uh -oh. Apex come charging out. It's looking real good for this defense all of a sudden. Just OC left, trying to fight his way into the site. He's got a couple of good kills right now, and at least we'll get the bomb plant, but he should not be able to stay alive in this. Gotta be careful here that you don't throw yourself away, Apex. Don't turn this into a one-on-two. Wait for the team to show up. You do have all of the chances in the world to win this one. Crouched in slowly right now. A little bit of a jump. That's so dangerous. But this little bit of a flank coming in. Spinks will take him down. They're able to retake the bomb site. It's a good defense. But I'm um, just a little bit worried about Apex there. But Magic again, he is doing absolute work from this position, right? Two maps in a row here on Inferno where he's just a beast from that position. Gets himself up to four kills here in total. And just locking them down. That rap was dealt with very, very tidy fashion. And the first for Vitality now posted on the board. And they're going to have more cash than they know what to do with here for a bite. So both teams into round seven. Completely locked and loaded. Plan from OC, right? Making sure that they uh, still have that cash bonus going forward. Didn't play this one selfishly. Got the bomb down. Wanted to uh, play for the team in that environment. And back underway is there's no T side AWP available here. They haven't opted to purchase it. There was enough cash if they required. And Zywu, gonna just take a peek here. Molly hits him in the face and he'll extinguish at his toes, but that'll send him packing for now. 
you can again relentlessly take him this banana control with very very little help from it from his team he's just i mean he's not getting grenaded that much down anyway right now but he's so confident in taking these fights wouldn't be surprised if he keeps going sphinx is right there on the other side and the Kinda will do it again don't pop your head out you're gonna get blown up this is not a good idea apex oh man what a resource apex really wants to challenge it but they know they've already seen it coming. Once he puts out that Molotov, they have a pretty good read on what's coming next. A bit of a gap in the smoke, though. That's a problem. There we go. It's going to get fixed right there. Nice little patchwork. That could have been extremely problematic. Now, uh, Dupree and Magic haven't really moved over towards the A site, so hoping that Apex and Zawu can find something before they consider rotating over. Bomb gets planted, confirms. They're not even rotating. We've given it up, and it's another save. So, uh, how many rounds you can do one on his own? Yeah, it's kind of crazy, right? The fact that this individual can just stroll up Banana and take those type of fights. I I'm not sure what the changeup needs to be here for Vitality. I've suggested Zywo over there. Well, he started there, and then as soon as he took the shot, he thought, that's enough. I need to get out here and rotate back towards A unless, uh, in case they try and pounce on our Danish duo. I mean, the other the other plan that they had seemed to make sense, right? If you trusted Megas get Dupree, then maybe you actually do put three people there and you try to take the fight. You 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 know you triple nade him down there. You really try and get rid of him. Yeah, I I think that that opener with Sphinx and Zawu on B might have to be the play here, just to really deal with the Akinda. But this is the issue. We're talking about the flow and effects of this, and this is the, the chess game that is Counter Strike right now. Nitro can make a different move. He can go. Well, they're expecting us to do this, so let's do this. So uh, I simplified it there for everybody. But uh, uh, this is where you get to call circles around your opponent and it comes, are they going to double down? Are they going to try something more aggressive? What is the change up for Vitality going to be? Because yesterday they were just executed into. The fight would come to them. They didn't really have to do a whole lot, right? They had a couple of aggressive maneuvers, but most of the time it was G2 just running into the slaughterhouse. Six to one. What a surprise. Line shot coming out, didn't they? Just, you know, just hoping that it was going to be a connection. Three people at the B bomb site early, but now down to, well, just a couple. Spinks, a very scary jump there. They are leaving Zywu over towards B. They've actually rotated Apex back over towards that A site. So Zywu can post up on a, on a line with the AWP, and he should have the advantage over Yukinda if he continues heading in that direction. But this is the hole spot. Flashes at the ready. Here they go. Yeah, they're going to be real quick about it. Magus, not flashed for the moment. He's going to get the good spree. Another double kill for him. And Dupree inside of the site. Worried Ili. She does not want to swing that one wide. He's waiting for the team down below to help him out. OC going to try and step out at the same time. Deep nade around the corner over Molotov would have been even better here, but he's going to find the kills. Nice swing for OC, and they need to be quick about it. Backup is coming in. Apex rotated over from the B bomb site and doing magnificent work in defending. Double kill for him right now. And Elige, not much he could do from this pit position. Smoke up, but Cyber will take him down through the half wall, and it will be another round for Vitality, finally. Yeah, well handled there. Uh, the fact that they're unable to get any penetration is they get two players out halls, their trade comes in eventually. There was so much time on the clock, maybe Liquid should have considered, you know, not full committing in this situation, because once the trade comes in from Elish here, he could have actually gotten to safety. They didn't need to continue committing into the site, but resources might be the biggest issue, thinking, hey, we put everything into this, we have to full commit. But money's still back here for both buys. And what'll be the break point? As we do have the fan cams available. If you want to join them, esl.gg slash fan cam. Join the fun at home. This time Nitro actually first in on Banana, hiding in that little corner by the tree. But you can dash right there with him. So going to be a little bit of a duo setup this time around. We'll see if they're going to be able to do anything with it. Saibu's on the other side. They will stop, but he is so quick. And now Sphinx flashed it, but it's too much, even blind. It's not enough. Even the flashbangs won't get rid of him. And he knows someone else is around. The, corner. the confidence is so ridiculous. Nitro to pick up the kill, but with the assist on Yukinda. And they're not even going to get close. Another round entried, either on B on Banana, by Yukinda. It's so good. Crazy. It's crazy. He's 4-1 and one in opening jewels this early on in the game. And if this continues here, Vitality have some real problems. They even tasked Zywood with that, and the boost up and over wasn't expecting that. Because at this point, like we, we know we joke about this stuff, and it's fun, it's memes, but it's Yakinda. Go take banana control. But also, think of the counter, right? You have the AWP, you've got the rifle forward for protection, you've got Apex behind with flashbangs, and all of that. Th th that's like a triple layer defense that just gets completely cut down. Yeah, destroyed. They don't even get a chance, right? This is the thing. It's not like they're taking the initial exchange and go, oh, we did some damage and we stalled them out with a molly. Let's drop back. Let's take a new fight. The first fight they take is the last fight they take. <laughs> oh, man.
It's, it, this is really hard to deal with right now. And the issue is, Vitality's T side wasn't much chop yesterday, Anders. Remember? Uh, no, they really had needed uh, clutches from Zywoo and Sphinx combined. The ace from Zywoo. Sphinx with a 4K. It, it was mental rounds. And look at this. Just jumps on the head, gets the frag, and out he goes. The crosshair placement, immaculate every single time, and even blind. Grabs that one. Really helped out Vitality uh, as far as the finances go. Another buy, the orbs out, residual cash, max loss, but well, max loss bonus not in play just yet. We're pretty damn close. And oh, come on, mate. <laughs> this is just getting absurd now. At least they got him in return, bum. But look I who mean... the body is. It's Magis. They know it's not a B defender. Yeah. That's information. That is huge information. You've just unraveled your best A anchor. He's gone. Yeah. Yeah, they could guess a lot behind that. What an absolutely absurd performance this is. Not for the Molotov, he gets away with it too. Nitro, pretty deep nade down there. They've left Spinks. He was for a minute at the bottom of Banana, but he's starting to slowly creep on back towards that half wall and maybe even into the B bomb side. Yeah, they want to make sure. They are a little bit worried about that A defense. I can't really blame them. So Spinks in charge of doing this. And then a three man setup over at the A bomb side. Pretty common configuration when you're playing this four on four. You know what's crazy? I just did the maths before the, the kills came in for this round. Both teams with a scoreline of 7-2 had 24 kills. Wow. And yet, they win all the rounds. And yet, they're getting owned. Yeah, but the, but the entries make such a difference, right? Isn't it crazy? Oh, dear. Okay, this is a gap. They've been out of Pippet. Ooh, at least he didn't see anything, but they saw him. Yeah, they did. Oh, this is very awkward. OZ, caught setting up, spinning around as well. Naf not able to take down Apex. And what a mod <laughs> oh, That's beautiful work. Apex cooking Elige down there. And now Nitro, one versus four. That is, as a very proactive play, there was something like that that they needed. They've solved it. They just need a blood sacrifice. Yeah, right. we'll, that's it. You, you will die, but as long as we take your kinder with us, we will convert the round. So the, the blood sacrifice every round required from Vitality. Here, Magis, this time round, let's see who they offer up to the Yakinda god of banana in the next, because it's getting out of, it's really getting out of hands. That was another opening kill for him. What's he, five and one right now? So he's just blowing them out of the server in that regard, has more opening kills than all of Vitality do. They have four in total. Yakinda has five of the six that are currently attributed to Team Liquid. So you, you know that he's getting stuck in. We've highlighted this throughout. The desk spoke about if he doesn't perform like he has done so far in the EPL uh, tournament thus far, then Liquid are just gonna have to consider an eco. A bit more direct here towards Banana. Nobody's gone towards second middle at all. Normally, Naf is over towards alt mid, patrolling, making sure players can't get away with information like this. So, Magis, because he peers out, crouches down. Nade, and he's going to peek behind it. They should be caught sleeping. Huge from Magis. The double ups there. Eventually, the trade through, but that's so much damage done early. That is a massive risk to take if you're Magis, but it works out just so well. Three versus four. Two on eight, two on B. And nobody really, I mean, they, they threw some nades in their vitality early on, but they really never went out onto Banana, just probably, you know, for obvious reasons. You want to try and stay away from that right now. Yakinda's out here still, toying around with it. And like we said, it's dangerous because if you don't fight him here, you give him the space instead, and then he is going to come and fight you ultimately. There's no choice in which you're not fighting Yakinda, unfortunately. They're executing for him. He's just going to hard entry here. Everybody else is setting up the Util, or at least they were. At least finding a new position to throw the goods. Flash over, Molly there. Yakinda steps forward. He's going to play through the smoke. Yeah. Oh, nice. Apex finds that one. Elise trying to see if he can follow it up, and he did a lot of damage, but this might be a little bit too late. There's already a flank coming in as well. OC is going to be going down. Elise is trying the best that he can. Good double kill. He can win this. He's picked up. Yeah, he could actually win this, especially because he does still have that HE. Could maybe slow them down just a tiny bit. They're both coming in from Banana at the same point. He's got a pretty good angle back here. Let's wait and see. Molotov to put some pressure on him. That'll force him out into the open. Dupree ready and waiting for it, and he'll find it. Good headshot from Dupree. A little bit scary for a minute there, but it will be a fourth round for Vitality. Yeah, good understanding of the situation. They didn't rush it. They used the Yuto to eliminate some key spots. Unfortunately for them, that's exactly where Elige was residing. So a good one. And we discussed cash being a problem. Well, that plant, that's massive in the context of this. It means that the Team Liquid will get out another by just. Maybe some Galils to go with the AKs. But Elige with a very good attempt here, considering it was the last man standing during all of this. Maybe a, with the final kill. a lot of other players would not have walked through the smoke like Yukinda did, but... But we all knew he was going to do that, and in Apex certainly seemed like he knew as well. So good read, good uh, spot from him. This is interesting. It's just you can do with the AK here. Now one of the keys is he's going to go for the banana control. He might have to use this smoke, yeah, quite defensively to give him something to work around. And he has teammates to call for flashes. OC 
in the closest by, but he's going to relinquish control of this and maybe start searching elsewhere. The double nades have come through. So, hey, boys, they've double naded. I've dealt with any of the early pressure here. Maybe we can still finish towards this B bomb site. We have two smokes, two mollies, uh, two flashes in play. That's enough for a B set piece. Oh, it most definitely is. With those tech nines, you never know. We've got a lot of speed behind it, too. They're trying to put some pressure on the middle portion just to sell it as much as they can. Haven't found any real targets yet, unfortunately, but yeah, they're clearing it out. They're creating the space and, and leaving Vitality in the dark just a little bit. You can now still outside of the B bomb site, looking for anything. And they're staying real far away from that fight. I don't even blame them. Got to be a bit careful now, though. Again, he's look at how much map control he's having on his own with almost no backup. Finally, some people started to show up, but he's basically on the bomb site. Spinks back here, holding a smoke, expecting a Molotov. There is one on Naf, so there could be one coming. Goes way on the other side. There's the early peek from Yukinda. He's ready for more. Yeah, good read on him. Oh, Apex dear. is going to be going down. Spinks, oh, it's a double. But they still win the bomb site. Three versus three. And Vitality, they've had a lot of saves. You imagine this time they probably want to fight for this. Now, considering they should have the weapon advantage right here, there are defuse kits in place, sure. Plenty of time on the clock, and they're getting over here in time. But Nitro, they have to flush him out first. You need to get this Ruins control. Flash, nobody gonna touch him. Don't get too close to that attack nine. He's ready for it. Great headshot and could have easily been a double. Simon and Dupree, you gotta be quick with this here. You had to rotate in from the A bomb side. It's quite far away. Flash up on top. Nav spinning around. They're both oh, right there and they line up for him. Beautiful way to win the round and eight on the board for Liquid. Yeah, quite flustered there from Vitality, right? That's not the type of round they should be losing here. So Yukinda gets the banana control. He's calling out all the util that's being used. They use that top mid pressure to flush Vitality back into more passive positions. And when you hear all the pistols, you don't want to be peeking short. You don't want to stick around close towards the long side because you don't want to give up a gun. And then Yukinda walks all the way in and takes that initial exchange. The biggest issue is they're playing like a smoke molly defense. Yes. With that smoke that Spinks has, he's hoping for an execute so he knows to drop it. Otherwise, you're waiting for Apex to take contact. And he was so far back that by the time they take contact, they're already scaling in. And speaking of already in, Yukinda and OC combined for Apex's death. Banana is theirs again. It's so aggressive, relentlessly aggressive. Vitality know it's coming. They've tried to plan for it. They've tried to figure out a way to stop it and they just, they cannot. It's not been possible throughout the entire stretch of this first half. Look at this rotation. Zywoo here, alongside of Magisk, it's just Dupree on A. So if Liquid call this off for once and actually go back towards the A site now, there'll just be one defender. It's going to rotate back, drop in the U till the information play had to come at some point. A little bit too quiet over towards the top of Banana as they nade forward. If your kinder could just throw a flash just to keep them on their toes, that might be enough to hold them here. Yeah. They don't seem to be wanting to rotate down the bottom of Banana all the way, Vitality. They're kind of sticking up there. But here it comes. Nice timing. Nitro. Nearly get the bit of Magus inside of the pit as well. Dupree is ready and waiting, but... He's the only one with any real health. They're actually in a lot of trouble. Still 40 seconds. You kind of got to join the fight all the way from the middle. And trying to see if they can get the boost. Oh, coming through. Spinks on the double. And that might be what it takes to save the day here. Three versus three and 30 seconds left. And Spinks just keeps on going. Pistol's out now instead. He's already got the triple. Nearly the quad, but he gets shot down. And just like that, Liquid back in the lead. Saibu now all on his own. Smoke is going to be fading soon. And they don't have any more nades left on the T side, so all he has to do is find the head of somebody and maybe he could turn it into a one-on-one, -on -one, but they're going to peek him. You can are able to take him down. The aggression never stops. And it's one more round for Liquid. I can't believe they're swinging on him in that situation. They know it's Zywu, and they just wait for the smoke to fade, peer out, and take that fight. That is wild scenes right there, but that is Vitality broken extremely late here on this CT side. Real chance for Liquid to get an 11-4 half on the T side of their map pick. That would be phenomenal going into the halftime break. But this from Spinks, right? Magisk is peppering them, right? And he's hearing the tags, he's hearing the tags. And once you know they're committed to that type of a boost, Spinks has to initiate. He makes the play, knocks them off the totem pole. I still can't believe you kinder went for that fight. Yeah, but it definitely yeah. hasn't been the most active game from Saibu. So maybe Kinder's also thinking, all right, if he's going to have a slightly slow game, I mean, it's the best of five. Probably he won't be quiet for all five maps. So now is the time to really abuse it. Good headshot. But it is another entry for your kind of if you're keeping score at home. 6-1. Stupid, isn't it? And, and, uh, they've, I think all of them, maybe bar one, have been over towards Banana. It's been Banana and B, Banana and B, go. Just go kill. It's such a luxury to have. It's 
crazy that it's on display here in the grand final because Vitality, when they're watching the demos, this is the player that they're looking to counter. Right? <laughs> exactly so. Like, you're going to spend a lot of your resources, right? They have a deep coaching staff over there at Vitality to try and deal with this type of stuff, and they haven't been able to find a single solution on the Vitality side to deal with him. So, doesn't that make it worse, though, that you watch the demo, you know what's coming, and it is what's coming, and you still can't stop it? <laughs> like, well, this is the thing, like the crazy the crazy details with Inferno and, and the meta in Banana is it's constantly shifting. All different teams have different ways to take control. But you kinders, I know... Oh, oh, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage indeed. Okay. If they consider going for this. Zoe has a USP and 5-7 for Dupree. They're both coming over. Yeah, it's one of those might as well type situations, you know, just see if you could find something. What a round this would have been if Mace got, or sorry, if Apex got all three kills right there with the Deagle. That would have been crazy. Bit of a happy moment. Yeah. A bit more spammy. A little bit. Yeah. But um, didn't work out that way. Okay, well, probably has a scout. I'm sure that's not something that he wants to hold on to, but maybe see if he can do some damage. That's really, at this point in the game, I don't even know if that counts for much. Just going to pad the stats, I would say. I guess at this point, if you're Vitality, hey, let's call four players over. Let's light Banana ablaze. Let's force down. Let's take full control. Let's see if we can win the fight against you, Kinder. It's just the problem, though, is there have been rounds in between some of this where they have just waited at the bottom of Banana for grenades. So if you do that in one of those rounds, you feel like an idiot, too, because yeah, it's true. You just throw everything and they're just waiting in T-Ramp saying, yeah, great, you just spent three Molotovs and five HEs and we're just here chilling, so... But I mean, so they need to do something. Yeah, maybe just a mid crunch, right? Take the fight elsewhere. That makes sense. The magic aggressive maneuver, he went out window and got two kills. That worked right. A different option, not just taking the fight and banana or not just losing banana, but they're going to do a three man open up towards B. Let's see if they can finally cage the beast. Yeah, he slowed down for like two seconds. You can know, he's like, all right, I've stood still long enough. I need to move. A lot of nearly damage from that one. So, so far, so good. Well done. They get a nice HE on him. I don't think it'll necessarily slow him down. It doesn't seem to be how his brain works, but it might make it easier to fight him. Yeah, well, this reaction for them, as soon as they see the half wall utility come out, if there's a second, they're going for this apartment to pop again. They did this last time around. Oh, one good flash and this is over. All they need is one good flash bang. And the problem is, well, now they're going to Molotov it down, but I hate the setup when you're by the hay cart on the CT side, because if you hear this footstep, you spin around and turn for it, and you're actually looking into the flashbangs that are coming from middle. So it's so hard, I feel like, to defend it, but they do slow it down. There's some real mind games going on here. I swear that last time round, they went for a horse spot when the half wall utility came out again. So again, they apply the pressure, they don't commit, and it's drawn the rotation exactly like Team Liquid would have liked to. So yes. all they had to do was show the body. If they found the kill or a fight came their way, maybe they could have full committed, but they're being very reactive right now to what's being pushed out by Vitality and a read again. Vitality have gone, it's too quiet. They have to be going back to beast. The rotation point is over. Three players one more time find themselves back over towards the B side, but Liquid aren't committed. No, they're not. Three people, just Jikinda here. He hasn't even really shown himself. This is again going to be down to that double setup. Let's see if they can actually make it work. Bomb it spotted. been real good whenever he's had a fight. That's the bomb on the ground. 15 seconds. They need to run. Someone has to pick up that bomb and just go for it. OC getting caught setting up with an A. 10 seconds on the clock. Dupree gets knocked out. Make is all on his own. And I think he just won the round. I don't think they could find the bomb and plant it. That is beautiful. Just a fantastic triple for Make. He's going to 10. This resurgence of form is what we want to see. The North Americans back at the top of the totem pole. Oh, this is a bit of a standard pistol. Nap playing for info. One expect odds have drawn ever closer here. Yakinda, basically the point man in Banana. He will be holding this side of the map alongside of Nitro. There's so much utility for an execute here. Three smokes, two mollies, two flashes. Let's see if they get to use them. Dualies, though. A couple of sets, one of them at the B bomb site. So you can put down the smokes and, and try and see if you can play around it. Those dualies could, uh, could be a little bit annoying. Nice tool to have. They're all grouped up out on Banana right now. Vitality ready to go. And the Molotovs, though, be hard for Liquid to dodge. They can't really do much about that. So interesting to see how this plays out. Oh, what is happening? How did he get that kill? Oh, no. Dooley's up on top. And OC will only get the one. But I swear he was blind. Three versus three. You cannot right inside of the smoke now. Bomb is planted out in front. And might have heard them stepping away. Three on three for the afterplant, though. No kit inside at the moment, so 
Down, going to be down to the USP shots at this point. So close. Yeah, they, don't know they definitely don't know. What an absolutely cheeky play coming out. They do peek him, and it's a great peek for Megas. Nice to return. They finally shut him down. Elysian, Naf on the retake. Now it'll be very, very tricky to try and find it in time. The duel is doing time. great work, and oh, they actually do. Double kill for Elysian with those dual Barettas. And now that they win the, this round, you have to assume they're well on their way to winning the opening map. Yeah, 100%. This is looking fantastic now. Both pistol rounds, Yakinda again with another opener at Banana. And that's the difference maker right there. You saw Liquid, when they were able to take B control on their pistol, they actually got the opening kill and they were set up in a number advantage. Here it is. Bang. So falling into his demise right there. That's a tidy shot. But uh, just got a little bit of a, a fun fact. Here it is one more time for everybody playing at home. Jumping, 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 and wishes they never... Oh, oh, okay, yeah, fair enough. I do that all the time. We, we take those, we definitely take those. Uh, it's a force by back for Vitality, Virtue of the Plan. I was hoping for like a timeout or maybe an eco, because I have a fun little tidbit storyline here. It's nothing major pertinent, but we could got time. Up. Well, uh, SEO, Ben, our stats guy, he's uh, been digging through, obviously, the trio of Dupree, Majesty, and Sonic in 2019, 2018 yes. as well, went up an awful lot. Hold up, let me hold my breath. Just so that he just needed to get an entry. He just yeah. Can, can sorry, guys. Story. Back to regular programming yeah. now. Uh, goes up, going up against Liquid over their time. They have a uh, collective tally for this trio versus Liquid in Grand Finals. They are nine and one in series. This oh. is Grand Finals only. Nine and one That's in Grand ridiculous. Finals in series. That goes 23 and six in maps. So they were very dominant in these Grand Final victories. In case everybody forgets, they've been shutting them down. So if this works out for Liquid, I mean, remember, it is a best of five, so you don't want to be reading too much in one particular map. But still, if it goes the way of Liquid, that'll be something. The thing is, as well, it's it's a little bit of a, a curse, or maybe not a curse, but something that Liquid ha have known, right? When they go up against these players from Astralis, that they were never able to get past them. And that was prime Liquid, right? That was Liquid yeah. when they were the second best team in the world to the greatest of all time to ever do it, Astralis. And you mentioned best of fives. In strictly best of fives, it's 4-0 to the ex-Astralis trio. 12-2 oh, okay. in maps. And they really have been keeping them under their foot for a long time. Liege getting traded there by Spink. Snap up on that tiny ledge. And that's a really hard position to check. If you don't know, you can end up finding another kill on Spink. And it's going to be the round for Liquid. Attempted to try and put some pressure on here by Vitality, but it does not really work out for them. They're falling way behind. This is now turning into a very one-sided affair. It's eight and one in opening duels. That's I know I'm just repeating good. numbers, guys, but the fact that he has been able to open up that key area of the map this consistently is insane. Like, absolutely insane. Eight and one. I'd find that acceptable. I think that's it's pretty good. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's, it's so rare. If you don't know at home, that's, that's very, very rare. Oh, dear. Well, this will be round. Oh, nice. He didn't get an entry. Hooray! It's turned around. Okay, the whole game shifted now, guys. 16 to 12. Watch this. It broke in the spell. I would try to really press his luck for running and shooting with the deagle. I'd celebrate just for that, really. <laughs> yeah. Maybe take a time out in the middle of the round and just be like, yeah. Order the champagne. But they only have the pistols, though. So even getting that, that entry is decent. But they need to keep it going. Find maybe one more. And yeah, what's next, right? Nitro is trying to be a bit jarring, jumping behind this half wall, and he's considered his luck over. Well, rescind control, drop back towards the site, and he's on his own. So th there is a real chance right now if Vitality were to group up and use this scavenged MP9, oh, they're going to head back themselves. OC, with a little delivery of utility. Thank you very much, Nitro says. And they lock down this site with the three rifles. OC, Arch, Elige over towards Moto, and Naf in the pit. That pit position, he has a Molotov as well, and with 35 seconds, he can throw that near the hay cart, and, and he has a lot of space if he wants to swing and try and fight Arch instead, so gonna give him a little bit of room. OC catching Megas trying to get there. They actually will find the kill down uh -oh. in the pit. Oh, this is working uh -oh. way too well. Simu finding his third kill of the round. And Nitro, they know that he's gonna be coming in from this bomb side. It's not gonna be a surprise. Wow, this is well done. Triple for Simu, who's been very quiet.
for this map so far. Well, I was trolling, right? That, that should be the celebration in itself to do with the Yakinda kill. But look what it opened the door to, right? That reposition of OC just to drop off the utility. He was like a uh, like a courier in Dota right there, taking out a play for the moment. Drops that util, comes back. The biggest issue, Naf was jiggling over towards the bike position. When he mounted on top of the bike to take a different angle, they slinked past him. And yes. Apex actually found that perfect timing to get close ahead of his incendiary towards the short side. Zaiwu activates here for two more kills. And this is a bit reminiscent of yesterday, where Zaiwu had, it wasn't ace yesterday, but a massive impact on a low buy round exactly like this. So if anything's going to get you back into the game, it's probably going to be around like that. Two M4s and an AK carry through an MP9 as well. On the other side, money is questionable for Liquid going forward, but that's a tidy round to win, especially in the context of it being a best of five, right? One of those is like, they're going to creep in more and more as we get to the third, fourth, and fifth maps here of this series. They really, really badly needed a round like this. Oh, okay, first bullet. Yeah, it's out, it's done. One more. Ready, catches another player. Not a headshot, but still. What, three bullets, three kills? You like to see it. Especially from the Whoop. So good that he's activating now in the server. And Liquid, I think they understand the type of lead that they have. I'm just going to take a pretty humble round here. Nitro with his saved MP9. Everybody else with USPs or a P250 here for NAF. So this should be a way back in for Vitality. And we know they're good on the comeback trail. Well, they had better be wrong a lot, haven't we, Anders, in apps? Right? They, they, yes. But the problem is there's no 5 7. That seems to be the answer. That is usually how you do it. Yeah, just the USPs. It's doubtful that that's going to be playing out. Yukinda's also here with a USP of his own. Elise is going to uh, find a couple of them. Hold the phone. Yukinda's right there in front. And now they've got the MP9 as well. Good little flick from Saibu. Oh, he's got such an incredible read. Very well done. Molotov surely going to be the end of Nitro. Well, Apex before that. So they managed to negotiate their way out of that round, but it almost completely spiraled out of control. Now imagine how many Elise could have got with a 5-7. That's true. Good point. Maybe all five. You never you never know. But uh, only a five-round lead now. Only, we say, it is the T-side for Vitality having to get into action late here. Guns available now. AWP for OC. Good to see him getting that out early, right? It's been some questions from the desk, right? What, you know, get, get the hands, uh, get the orb in the hands of OC, especially here. Uh, Maui was talking about his jump in performance from the group stage to the playoffs. He has been much better over here in the playoffs of ESL Pro League. Touched, touched by an eight out there. This is interesting. You know how I've said that the B set up with Yakinda and Nitro is in play? Well, they've actually put OC's AWP over there. That means they're starting with three players towards A. Elise and Naf are already in quite a passive crossfire back towards Sight and Pit. And Yakinda is here to respond very quickly as well. And it looks like Vitality are making a call to hit this A bomb site. It's only Magiskin Banana just floating for some information. But this looks like they want to go three holes Apex to initiate them from mid with some util. They need a really good nade down here. That flashbang wasn't it. A good opening defensive kills coming out. Naf and Elige making this look very powerful. There is some money still left on the Vitality side, but they got to be really worried about losing a round like this. Sai so we're trying to claim the round back and it'll take down Nikinda. But the bomb, it's in an awkward position, Chad. Yeah, this is going to be hard to get to. The rotation of OC and Nitro is still coming back over. So this is the window of time. Vitality need to push the issue and now. Yep, they do. 45 seconds. Last remaining members of Liquid are starting to show up. Apex, good little kill, but Elise lines up for a double. And Magus is on his own. 30 seconds, and OC just standing there waiting for him with the AWP. That's a 13th round for Team Liquid. They're three away from winning the opening map of this grand final. All handled there. Should be enough for Vitality to drop some guns across and maybe take a timeout here as well before this map gets too far away from you. Have a chat now. Just try and set yourself up for the home stretch. They have just called the timeout after... Oh, this aggressive Yakinda. Okay, sat down. Big one from Apex there. It looked like he wanted to drop back immediately. Like started yes. running and then was like, I, I, I made a mistake. Yeah, something, something made it change his mind. Speaks oh, ready for that one, but not able to get the kill. He had the right idea, right cross air placement and everything. But Elish takes him down. So that momentary advantage taken away. And they're rotating quick over to the B-bomb side. They feel like something could be coming in. From the looks of it, they're not really wrong. The Molotov though slows them down. It's almost a little bit of a shame. They almost should have wanted them to keep going here. Yeah, you're right, actually. I, I, I think that they would have fully committed towards this site here. So they blocked them, sure, but... The stack came over for a reason. Yeah. I've sent them packing for now. I, I would say the biggest key of all of this is that was the full execute of Vitality. So that's everything they had. Right now, it's a flash and a smoke. 
So they have to work with a lot fewer pieces of kit here. But there are gaps available on the map. We can see if we look at the radar right now, there's no information available for Team Liquid top mid unless OC continues to search forward, which he actually is. So they can keep this two-man set up towards B, and OC could even rotate back towards Banana right now if it'd like. Almost wish Nitro was a little bit deeper so he could see what was coming, because Nav has grenades that he could use if they need to, so... But not if he's, the, if he's way too far back. Yeah, he's going to put it up. That's good. That's a really good job on the Molotov there. Nitro sees it coming, and a good read it was. Taking down Apex, 20 seconds on the clock. They're trying to recommit, but like you pointed out, they don't have any more nades left, really, on the Vitality side. And they're getting absolutely chewed up trying to get into the bomb site. 14 rounds on the side of Liquid as Naf picks up that final kill. Feels like they're coasting a bit here. Uh, this hasn't been too stressful for them. Sure, they lost that Deagle round a little bit early, but the first half was fantastic. T-half round after round after round, the luxury of having your Kinder find those banana kills. Now, as we do look forward in the series, we have Vitality's map choice of Dust2 coming up next. So that'll be an interesting affair. We haven't really been able to see Zaru get too activated with the AWP just yet. He can do it with the rifle, but Dust2 is going to be a bit more of an AWP's paradise. So we'll have to see Vitality come online then. Because, I look, I know... This is the grand final. There's a chance they can come back, but Liquid are just looking dominant right now on their map choice. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? And it's not just a killer. There's also a Liege. He's up there that's 17, 18 kills, just as I say it. Take it out, Magus, because otherwise they've been the, the star performer on the Vitality side. Don't have any real money this round, so obviously going to be hard to fight back on it. Very likely going to be straight to 15 here for the Liquid side. Well, yeah, between Elige and Ikinda, that's a powerful duo to be up against. Way too much, it seemed, in this map, at least, for Vitality to be able to do anything. Ikinda's back in the middle, trying to see if he can find some kills of his own. Too committed. Yeah, they're taking they're taking turns. It's a very gentleman-like battle they've got going on here. Yeah, feeding them, just allowing them all to get a kill or two. No, see, we'll take two. Let's see if he can make it the third. Standing stalwart emitters, Dupree, the shot lands. The second was a beaut, but Ikinda will finish things off here. A little showing now for Liquid. And this right, is the right. thing. If if Yakinda becomes the role model, Anders, right back in back in my day, my mum would say, "Stop sitting so close to the telly. Your you, eyes are going to go square, right?" Like because you were sitting. I've heard that, yeah. Well, now he's so close to the screen that he cannot actually see the outline of the screen. So his eyes will go Counter Strike. That's <laughs> true. You see, he's not. The problem isn't even like the four by three thing. It's that he just actually can't even. See he it. physically has to Doesn't. turn his head to look at the radar. It's wild. <laughs> But it's working. Who can judge him? True. He's a monster. Nice flick on to Magus. Jakinda's down in the middle. Cheated out of the entry by OC, unfortunately. <laughs> but still, you get the idea. Oh. <laughs> and Saiwu gets knocked out. Couldn't even see anything there. Apex and Sphinx to try and save this map. Looking like that's not going to be possible on any level. What a grotesque performance from Liquid. Yeah. Phenomenal scenes. I, I guess maybe your friend is from the Vitality standpoint. At least it was quick. They can conserve some energy for the future maps because if they want to continue this now, it would have to be a four-map affair, right? It's the first team to pick up three maps in the best of five. And Apex and Sphinx together here. They both got X's in their name. Let's see if they can be the X factor that they're looking for. Another crazy comeback from 15-7. It's been done before. It's been done before. Certainly lacking a lot of the energy. Flashed into the middle of the leash. We'll take him straight down. And Apex, one versus five to try and hold on. Nap with the final.